this is the new pelagic filler piler I've got. Um, you see the size of the motor on it. It's rather large compared to the auto helm I had where I just had a motor inside. It's only just been installed and um, I'm giving it a test run today. This is the control head here. It has a, a light to tell you that it's on uh, in auto. If I put it in standby, it flashes. This is the gain control, which is a pretty good feature. You can um, adjust the gain quickly. Uh, just by pressing the button, you can increase or decrease the gain without going into any menu. Now, today, uh, let me get down here. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Today, I'm heading uh, across the Gulf here, which is 40 miles, and it looks like I'll be motor sailing all the way. So, there's my course over ground, and there's the bearing, 293, right? So, I've got 40 miles to go, and about nine hours on one course, right? So, there's nothing in the road. And this is a vessel later on, but I think I could pretty much get it without altering course. A little bit close to that island, but that'll be right. The unit itself is drawing, let's have a look here. Uh, bolts, and that's the unit running there. One nothing, nothing, one. So it's drawing one amp. The point six is my nav gear on. So every now and then it'll click in and draw one amp. So the unit itself, it, there it goes. It's not drawing a hell of a lot in this configuration. So we'll give it 10 hours and see how it runs. Right, we're 10 miles in. There's probably a, a one meter swell rolling no sea as such. The uh, pelagic isn't working over time, it's working, but it's maintaining the course pretty well. I've adjusted about three times, two degrees to starboard, but that's probably the leeway from this swell rolling down, pushing me off course. So far, so good. Well, that's been about 10 hours. Um, maintained pretty good course. The motors, the engine on it's warm, it's not hot. It's been working over time. I've had a cross swell and the boat's pretty roly-poly. You can see that. So, maintained a pretty good course. Uh, maybe get this out. Sorry guys. Ah. Okay. Over the course of the day. And there's been some tide so you could probably put that down the leeway there and then it went back the other way, so I'd say that was just a bit of tide. Um, the unit itself, the, it doesn't have a flux gate compass in it. This thing here has all the sensors in the control head. The program seems to work all right. It, it's maintaining a good course. It can understand pitch and roll. And downside of it is if you need to upgrade the software you have to get in from behind it so unfortunately sticking it on with Sigaflex is not a good idea um, another pro this is the pros and cons it's got this uh, Wi-Fi unit that you can use to it from so you can go up forward 
in the coral atolls and uh, steer through the bombies while you're watching. Other than that, it appears to be a pretty durable unit. Price is good. Uh, pity there's no uh, distribution in Australia or in New Zealand. I suppose that'll come in the future, but uh, all in all, I'm happy with uh, a 40 mile trip and I'm prepared to take it for a thousand to see what it does. Feel free to ask me any questions, I'm only more than happy to help.